When I was in ninth grade, for one of my optional classes, I signed up for a class called Outdoor Education, where we learned hardcore wilderness survival skills, such as how to tie knots. How to shoot things with arrows. Crack. Ah.、Oh. And how to use snowshoes. And we also learned how to stay hydrated by sticking a tube up your butt. Another reason I chose to take this class was because we got to go on two field trips. And get to miss school. The first one was a skiing slash snowboarding trip up in the mountains. Now, I've never snowboarded before, so I thought, yeah, I'll try it. But I never made it down the kitty hill without falling down. The second time we got to miss school was for a five dollar foot long. Uh, whoops. I mean a. Five minus two days long camping trip. Must have been watching too many Suabway videos. So on the day of the trip, we packed three days worth of clothing into our bags and then loaded onto the Greyhound bus. We then made our merry way to the camping site, and when we got there, we all went into a large building. Where the band kids were also staying for their band camp. Then we all ate dinner together, buffet style, and I clearly remember there being fried rice and fruit tarts. Oh, and there was also hot chocolate. And let me tell you, we went ham on the hot chocolate. We drank so much hot cocoa that week that the dispenser broke and had to get replaced. So, anyways, after dinner. We went into another building and played dodgeball with the other outdoor ed class to break the ice, cause we didn't know the other class. After that, it was time to go to bed. So apparently, this was when I learned that we weren't sleeping outside in tents. No, no, we were put into cabins with bunk beds. I mean, okay. This was like the middle of winter, and we probably would have froze to death. But come on, I didn't sign up to go camping to not camp outside in a tent. Okay, not what I expected, but bunk beds are pretty cool. See, I would know, cause one time my family was on vacation, and the hotel we were staying at had a kid area. With a Nintendo console, a and a bunk bed where me and my brother played Pokemon Snap. So let me tell ya, bunk beds are cool. But by the time that I got into the cabin, all the top bunks were taken. And if you don't get the top, then what's the point? That's just a normal bed with more fart in your face. Ah.、Uh. Fine, I'll settle for the bottom bunk. Ha <laughs> ha! Psych! Too late. The only thing that's left is this mattress in the middle of the cabin that everyone already put their bags on. <sighs> uh. And that was how I ended up spending the next two days sleeping on the communal bed.